Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to create non-intersecting wires connecting objects. So in a new scene, inside a geometry container, we want to first set up five points. I'll use the jitter node to distribute them within a radius of five and you can choose any kind of uh, seed value and the attribute randomize node can give us an orientation attribute which is a vector 4 and the distribution I set to direction. Now I use an easy pick head and copy that onto those points. You can try to make sure the pick heads are not intersecting but it's basically just about scattering a few points on them. Let's say we want 20. Now the add node would connect them to straight lines. I go to polygons by group and choose a group of two points. So we have straight lines between those points. Now the idea is to make these curves float around the surface without sticking inside. So they should be pushed outside using a for loop. And this can work by resampling iteratively those curves using subdivision curves and then use a point at vec node to push them away from the surface. So let's convert the flying pick heads to VDB from polygons. We can keep them as rough, but we need to fill the interior. And we may also want to add a bit more of an exterior band. So this is how far these points will be pushed away from the surface. This works by using a VDB analysis, which is set to gradient and then at vect points node knows where to push these points to. Now just to illustrate this, there's a time step which is basically the amount of how far we want to push these points with each iteration and the exterior band is basically how, uh, how big the space is around each surface. So the volume would end up somewhere here. Now what I don't like is that the ends are being not sticking to the surface. So let's create a group called pin and choose a preset vex pression, which is the point balance set to one. So that would be the endpoints of each curve. And those we are going to exclude from the advection using an exclamation mark pin. Now this could be the entire effect, but if you want to avoid intersections, those may happen when you have more points. Then we would like to have a way of uh, solving these intersections. And we can do that right after the advection. Let's use an attribute wrangle for that. Call it evade. And first of all, we want to create a group which is excluding our own curve from the search to the collision. So I'll convert the integer of my own primitive number to a string. And then I would like to know the distance to the closest position on the next curve. So on our own geometry stream, we're going to use that group. And we not only want to know the distance, but also the primitive number and the ST location, uh, which is the relative position on that curve. Now, to illustrate this a bit, after creating a mask, which is the complement of the smooth, what the smooth function returns, this would be 
let's say between 0.1 and 0.2 based on the distance, we can now visualize this real quick by setting up a color vector based on the mask and then you would see which locations are close by. So each point here is asking for the distance to the next curve and its position. We can get by setting up a vector called position and then we use the prim uv function on our own geometry stream and we want to return the position of that primitive at that location. Based on the position we can then calculate the normalized direction so pause minus v at p would be the direction we want to evade to away from the other curve and we can test this out already by adding to our position the direction multiplied by the mask multiplied by some kind of amount. The amount I want to expose as a parameter let's call the float A and the parameter amount and so with this I can push it away of course this works in conjunction with the number of iterations so if you have 20 iterations this may look better or worse and then there's also that um, that look up radius the smooth which is remapping the distance so I want this as another parameter float r for radius and I choose radius as the outer limit and half the radius as my inner limit so r divided by 2.0 and R as the outer limit. Click on the little icon and we see this in action. And it's uh, fighting a bit, so we need to subtract the position. So this would push it away in our case. It depends on whether you subtract pause minus V at P or the other way around. And I also find it useful to come up with a custom value which is using a random value based on the primitive number. We map it between 0.5 and 1.0, so this can also help to solve problems because this makes some curves react stronger than others. Especially when it's tight, so let's now see how it reacts in more complex scenarios on let's say 200 points and we should also inspect this closely because the evade node should not run on the tips so let's use the pin group and an exclamation mark so the first points are not being pushed and then you can see the red color in tight places so this would then be good for debugging the amount could be just 0.1 and the radius we're searching in is 0.02 and after the resample I also use a smooth node and then I'll append a sweep set to a round tube and maybe a radius of 0.05 which is kind of Um, fitting to the push away amount. In complex scenarios you might also increase the iterations to something like 100. Thank you for watching.